The inherited renal diseases are diagnosed first by taking a good history of the patient's symptoms. The important symptoms include decreasing night vision, peripheral vision, central vision. It's also important to obtain a family history of patient's family whose members may have the same condition. On the other hand, a negative family history doesn't prevent a diagnosis of inherited renal disease. This is then followed by a very comprehensive clinical examination that examines night vision, central vision, peripheral vision, as well as the structure of the retina to determine whether genetic testing is necessary. There are hundreds of different types of uh, inherited retinal diseases, and there are hundreds of different genes that just one of the genes, if it becomes abnormal, can cause inherited retinal disease. On the other hand, I think we have some broad categories of inherited retinal diseases that are relatively common. For example, retinopic ventosa, which is a group of inherited retinal disease that perhaps affects the rod photoreceptor function and causes decreased night vision uh, first, this particular group is probably the most common broad group of inherited renal disease. Other common forms of inherited renal diseases will include Usher's syndrome, particularly type 2A, which can cause retinal degeneration as well as impaired hearing. Another common form of inherited retinal disease is Stargardt disease, and this particular condition affects the macula or the central part of the retina that is responsible for central vision. Gene therapy is a revolution that has occurred in terms of inherited retinal disease treatment. The the first approved treatment for inherited renal disease is the gene therapy for RP65 inherited renal disease. And this was approved in 2017 with first patients treated in 2018, including patients treated at Baskin Power Eye Institute. This particular treatment involves placing a normal RP65 gene and placing it into the photoreceptor cells of the retina. These cells are the cells that convert light signal into nerve signal. There are also many other inherited renal diseases that are currently under study with respect to gene therapy. There are also many other ways of doing gene therapy rather than just gene replacement. This will include, for example, introducing a gene into the remaining cells of the retina where the condition is so advanced that you can place this gene uh, into these cells where the um, protein will then be activated when light enters the eye. Um, the gene therapy can also um, alter the RNA or introduce RNA sequences that can then treat inherited renal diseases. Baskin Palmer Eye Institute has been in the forefront in terms of human clinical testing of novel treatments for inherited renal diseases. We have also have um, much research in our basic science laboratories in terms of advancing novel treatments. The donations from the Mark J. Daly Inherited Renal Disease Center will further advance our efforts in finding treatments that can either improve the visual function or slow down the progression of inherited renal diseases. What makes Baskin Palmer unique includes many different aspects. One aspect is that we have wonderful colleagues who are experts in their fields, and we all work together with each other so that we really synergistically improve ourselves to move the science forward to treat blindness. We also have wonderful patients who come from all over the world, 
and they seek the best care possible and some of the patients have very difficult conditions that also, also allows us to uh, learn about their conditions and also to develop new treatments. We also have um, wonderful philanthropist who really provide very important support to all of our efforts, both clinically and also in terms of research.